people don't tell you exactly what they want. Uh, they tell you what they think they want, which I think we showed in there, which is, you know, people obviously, you know, fitness is kind of where people are thinking about wearables going, but there is that really interesting part of what else can it do? You know, how does it enable social interactions? How does it enable banking? How does it enable, uh, you know, entertainment? All these kinds of other things that we don't necessarily get out of just someone telling us what they want because uh, they can't actually verbalize that because they don't really know enough about the ecosystem and, and the capabilities of wearable devices to really get to that point. Are there any like like standard questions you found that solicit like really good answers from people? Because I, I know in journalism I often ask the, you know, what's the unexpected benefit of using this device? And that always solicits a really good answer from that and you learn a lot more. Have you found any sort of standard questions that really kind of get get to the heart of the matter? You're sitting, sitting there thinking you got something? Yeah, so we're about to go into concept validation of you know a particular service right now, and one of the most common questions we'll have a facilitator ask is, what do you, what do you expect to happen here? So in, in asking that question, you not only get, are they, do they understand what they see, or at least can you, can you get an idea of what they think that they see, right? Um, but you also get an idea of the behavior as well. This is before they've interacted with a particular screen at all. So I, I think that's, that's, that's a key question that we'll always uh, ask, which is, what do you expect? What do you see? Um, and then, you know, not, not surprisingly, uh, after they're completing a task, uh, what, what made sense to you? What didn't make sense? How, how might you change it? Um, those, are pretty, those are pretty standard questions that, you know, pretty much get get pretty far, you know. Anything to add to that? Yeah, I think one uh, technique that I've always used throughout my career is looking at uh, Toyota's famous five whys. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of that, but it's, uh, he used it to actually diagnose engine problems and uh, kind of uh, technical problems um, within the, the systems that they're creating. But you ask five uh, times the, the question why to get to the bottom of something. So, you know, the first time someone may tell you, oh, I want to lose weight, right? You know, that's why I'm getting a fitness monitor. But then you ask them, why do you want to lose weight? And it's, oh, it's to get healthy. And it's, oh, why do you want to get healthy? Oh, maybe it's because, you know, I want to live longer. Why do you want to live longer? Because I'm afraid of dying. And by the time you get to the end, you're like, you're buying a wearable because you're afraid of dying. You know, so it, it's a good way to get to the core kind of nugget of truth, opposed to just what people actually may say to you and think outwardly of why they want something.